I can't believe it. My years-long expected day is here, but I just don't believe it, I'm sure something bad will happen again. I wouldn't be me if everything went smoothly. I was sitting at the airport in the gate to Egypt looking out the window at the plane. It was dark, I was nervous, tapping my foot. I didn't even notice it but I must have had a case of the jitters. At that moment an Egyptian sitting next to me spoke to me. Why are you nervous? I glanced at him quickly and replied that I wasn't nervous. That's me. I never want to show anyone I'm scared. I've always been known to be the brave one, after all. Then why are you shaking? Afraid to fly to Egypt for demonstrations? It was then that all faded from me. This question was so absurd. It didn't matter to me whether there were demonstrations in Egypt. I wasn't really worried about them. I cared only about being in Egypt. If I ever get there it will be a truly great miracle. I've been trying to get to Egypt for 13 years and something always happens. Any other person flies into Egypt every year and nothing ever gets in their way, but me because I want it more than anyone else, I just can't get there. No. That was my answer. I'm afraid something's going to happen along the way. Don't worry, nothing's going to happen. How does this man know? Does he know my fate? Maybe if he knew who he was flying with, he would never have flown that day. None of us know what it's like to be there in Egypt now, but if anything happens we'll fly back immediately, he assured me as he displayed a friendly smile. Well it was really true. My dream lifelong journey came at the very moment when Egypt had the worst demonstrations in history, and yet I flew there, but I have to confess I really didn't care about the potential dangers. And what are you going to do in Egypt? His question really struck me. I'd been wondering for a long time what to say. I mean, if I tell him I'm only following my dream he'll probably think I'm crazy. I'm going to work there. I have a job lined up. He was taken aback. What? You're going to Egypt to work? What was he so surprised about? There's work to be done in every country. He really intrigued me, but today I no longer wonder about this question. I would have reacted the same way today. He looked at me for a long while and merely said, be careful. Listen to your reason. Reason over feelings. Whatever happens in Egypt, always follow your own reason. I remember that advice to this day and it's so true that I still tell it to anyone I meet. I thank the kind Egyptian man for his advice, we said goodbye, and then I boarded the plane to Egypt. The miracle really was that the flight went smoothly and nothing out of the ordinary happened. I stared at the map on the TV in front of me all the way to Egypt and then finally saw the lights of Cairo at night for the first time. I've never seen anything more beautiful. A great calm fell over me. I felt so safe. It's like coming home. Thank God. I'm here.